Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Trending Now, where we talk about really cool new products for the greenhouse industry. I'm Chris Bates, editor of Grower Talks magazine, and my special guest today is a, a veteran of these sort of online discussions uh, with with me. She's Nancy Rexiegel, a uh, field technical manager. Is that correct, Nancy? Yes. With Syngenta. with Syngenta. And where are you based these days? Seems like last time we talked, you were in Bradenton, Florida. I am. I'm still here. Um, oh, I, I reside here, but my territory extends all the way out to the Rockies. So Bradenton to the Rockies. Bradenton to the that, Rockies. That's a long way. <laughs> it is a long way. <laughs> all it's right. All and, and today, we're going to be talking about um, a new fungicide. Now, I love talking pest protection uh, or plant protection products because it's something growers always get excited about we've mm -hmm. got a new fungicide called pastiva correct yes we do, yes, we right. do. Well, let's talk about that and actually i'm going to share my screen as often happens with these core sorts of uh, uh online discussions so that we can we can uh, we can talk more about pastiva tell us about it okay well first of all we're very excited to introduce you in the industry to syngenta's newest innovation in plant protection and that is Pastiva fungicide. Uh, Pastiva is a broad spectrum fungicide that has two uh, powerful new active ingredients that's um, new to the industry in a unique combination. Um, it's a seven and a three combined together. The fungicide is powered by a Depidin technology, which is um, really the first member of a new subclass of SDHIs uh, within FRAC group seven. And then it also contains diphenoconazole, a dimethylation inhibitor that's in FRAC group three. Um, the adepidin is particularly special because this molecule was specifically designed to combine the best traits of carboxamide fungicides uh, to deliver broader activity and longer residual control. So um, that's what you can expect with um, with Pastiva. Mm -hmm. um, and these free we, groups are important and every grower should know this. And if they don't, they need to go back to Pest Control 101. But tell us again why those frat groups are so important and why it's so unique to have two new ones or, or two new chemicals and two frat groups in this one product. So what's important is that, you know, we are seeing a lot of combination fungicides these days, certainly a lot of 7-Elevens. Um, but this is definitely unique because it's a seven plus three. Um, now, FRAC group seven works, the mode of action works by um, interfering with um, energy production within the mit mitochondria, right, at complex two. So FRAC group seven, the adepidin, interferes with energy, while the diphenylconazole, a dimethylation inhibitor, actually interferes with the ergesterol component being um, integrated into the fungal cell membrane. So you end up with uh, a leaky fungal cell that eventually um, collapses and dies. So you've got one mode of action that's more affecting the fungus from a structural standpoint, and another one that's interfering with fungal development from an energy standpoint. So uh, those two together provide some powerful control. Powerful control and prevention of resistance development, which is yes. which keeps a product like Postiva uh, viable for a long, long time, we hope. Yes. Yeah, we hope so too. All right. Let's talk about where can you use it? That's what folks are going to want to know. So Postiva can be used um, virtually in all production situations, greenhouses, nurseries, outdoor nurseries, conifer production, um, Christmas tree farms, interior scapes, parks, um, commercial and residential landscapes. Mm. So this has a very broad label for use. Maybe I should ask, where can't it be used? Is there <laughs> any place? <laughs> mm. No, I think it's, I think it's good. I think it, uh, it can pretty much be used everywhere. Not maybe not in an organic setting. It's not Omri. Well, listed. maybe not in an organic setting. True. All right, that's the only thing we can we can find against it. Right. And right. crops as as equally broad as the places. Yes, yeah, so um, it, it, in addition to ornamentals, I mean, you know, herbaceous ornamentals, woody ornamentals, um, conifers, uh, non-bearing fruit and nuts, 
and also uh, vegetable, many vegetable plants that are being produced and sold at the retail level. So you've got your fruiting vegetables, your cucurbits, um, your you know peppers and eggplant, and tomatoes, um, all of those um, pasta that can be used on. Wow, and that's that's great because so many of those are so prone to so many different cuts of uh, yeah diseases. Um, we've got some 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 examples to show just how effective it can be on just a, a few crops here. Yeah, so it is extremely both active ingredients in pastiva uh, have a very strong activity on powdery mildew, and so um, you can see that pastiva uh, applied at the lowest rate, a ten ounce rate, even applied on a fourteen day interval, and you see a perfect plant that's sitting amongst, you can see in the background, you know, the um, controls uh, that are right behind it, um, just, you know, totally uh, infected with the powdery mildew fungus. So um, very, particularly very strong on the powdery mildews, but it's also broad, also does rust numerous leaf spots like black spot um, and um, also very strong on fusarium. Okay. Yeah, and I wanted to double check that, that we're, we're, you've listed the, the uh, you said broad spectrum, just how broad is it? It, it does over 40 diseases. So you, you have numerous foliar diseases, um, root and stem rots like Rhizoctonia, Sclerotinia. Fusarium um, is, is another one. We mm -hmm. needed a new Fusarium product for the ornamental industry. And this one provides some exceptional control uh, for that disease. Um, also another Oh, and here's the fusarium trial. So this is just um, a picture of some of the work that was done um, with Postiva. And in this case, the fungicide was applied uh, 21 days before the plants were inoculated. And then it was evaluated and you're actually looking at pictures, I believe that are about 70 days after treatment. And that's typically, you know, you with fusarium, the infection begins in July for garden mums. And you don't see the symptoms until August uh, or sometimes September, right before you're going to sell the crop, because it it does take a while for the pathogen to to move in that plant, and then it causes a wilt. Um, so you end up seeing it at the end, but you can't do anything about it. Um, and so here you can see both the low rate and the and the mid rate of pastiva. Um, there's you know absolutely perfect control there. Wow, excellent. Another. Um, Another thing that I'd like to mention is um, it also has some very good suppression of bacterial disease. And this is really a game changer for this product um, because you've got, you know, you have copper based products, you have phosphonate products, um, you have some of the biologicals that are used to control bacterial diseases. And this is actually a fungicide that, that really has very good suppression of bacterial disease, as well as, you know, just as good as the coppers and the other products. So this also brings a new tool for that, uh, which is very exciting. Mm, that sounds great. Uh, it sounds like it's so broad spectrum, so effective. Growers might make the, uh, make the mistake of depending on it solely and forgetting to use it in rotation with other products. What's your advice about how to get the most out of Postiva? Okay. So you know, we recommend, I mean, generally most diseases, you can apply this fungicide truly on a 14 day interval. Um, and actually we have trials, you know, for landscape maintenance companies that we take it out four weeks and there's still some very strong control that you see uh, with the four week application. Um, but I would say that, you know, it's, it is always important to use a rotation with different modes of action. So you don't burn uh, any of these products out it takes a long time to develop these products for the market and to bring them to market. And um, so you wanna make them last as, as long as possible. So we feel that, you know, you can do a really nice rotation with something like Dacanil, Postiva, Palladium. Palladium is a frac group nine plus 12, uh, totally different, uh, different modes of action. Also controls leaf spots, detritus and powdery mildew. So you can put the palladium in there before you go to, for instance, a 7-Eleven product. Um, so we feel that this is, is really adding, it certainly adds 
some built-in resistance management because it does have two AIs with two different modes of action together. So um, it, some of the solo products like Eagle, which is just a three, um, this one has somewhat of a balance because both AIs are working on a lot of the same diseases. So that's a benefit as well. All right. And for more information, it's uh, Greencast Online. Am I yes. correct? Yes, if you go to greencastonline.com, uh, it'll take you to the ornamental page and all the, you know, all of our agronomic solutions, the technical bulletins, everything is on there uh, as a resource for growers to uh, to take a look at. Excellent. I can hear my, my, my viewers and listeners right now clamoring to get this. Is it available? Spring is here. Nancy, yes, it is. We need good and, and they time. do need it. They do need this. Um, Actually, it's getting delivered right now um, to the distri distribution centers. Um, so I believe it will be available by the end of this week in most areas. Um, the one state that we're waiting on is Florida. Um, Florida? They, I thought this, California or New York would be lagging as usual. Actually, New York was number one. We had New York like first. This. California yeah. will be next year. Okay. Um, but Florida, their state registration process, they don't meet every month. Um, and so now they're meeting this month. So right. um, we hope to have that very soon. Well, you're right there in Bradenton. Get them, get them on the ball down there. I know, up, I'm ready to go up to, to Tallahassee. Tallahassee. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really exciting. A broad spectrum fungicide for so many different crops and, uh, and, and production facilities. That's just what the industry needs. Thank you, Nancy, and thanks for the, uh, the genius scientists, scientists is, is there at Syngenta who uh, <laughs> formulate you. this uh, this amazing chemistry. So on behalf of, uh, behalf of uh, uh, Nancy Rex Siegel at Syngenta uh, and everyone here at Ball Publishing, I'm Chris Beatty saying thanks for tuning in to uh, this episode of Trending Now. So long, everybody. Thanks.